What happens when an American rock singer goes on a mission to discover the meaning of life and learn more about the world we live in? See that walkway? Walkway? Holy shit, I see, yeah, what is that? Tree sitters lived here for three years to protect this forest. And what happens if you film the whole thing? Okay, hang on. Yeah, hang on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like trying to climb like this. In a series of interviews that span the globe. To be human means that you have the intellectual capacity to embrace the fact that you live in a great big wide world. With the famous. And ultimately this world is going to snuff your life out. The not so famous. Revolution to me is, is more than that. Evolution. Take out the yard, you can put in the yard. And the infamous. Eight years of Bill Clinton? Did God I come here? God bless. Oh, jeez, come on. Man, the man was disgusting. The question is, can we create a television show that is geared towards people in their 20s and 30s? It is not shallow, it is not cliche, it is not formulaic. It does not feature, you know, the normal fodder that we see in television shows that are geared towards our generations, but something a little bit more intelligent, something a little bit more intellectual, something a little bit socially and politically conscious. It's a television show that you're constantly trying to define, just like life. art or life or music or religion or politics or, or, or porn or, um, or, or love or anything like that. Right? You're right. It is always, it's very real. And it is because you're married, right? So you know it. Well, well, he's not quite married not yet. Anymore. Oh, we'll see that. Yeah, well, that's exactly. <laughs> that's trying to send a television. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the fucking point he's of it, isn't transcending it? What? I meet you when you're married. Now all of a sudden it's like, who knows? And that's the way it is. But on TV, it's not that way. Right. What reality show actually has anything to do with real life? Can we think of one now? Transcendent Television, starring Ed Hale. You know what it is? It makes you think of God. Does this seem God-like to you? Like when you see it, you think about God more? Or you think more about... Church. Very spiritual. <laughs> you're like, dude, I'm not fucking idea what you're talking about. It's a fucking freak. What do you mean, God? <laughs> Nature, to some of us, is so removed or we are so removed now from nature that it doesn't seem real to us. I mean, I looked at a creek today, I couldn't believe that I was seeing that in real life. We know that we're not gonna lose the environment in our lifetimes. Us here, we have like 40, 50, 60 years left in our lifetime, so. We, we don't know okay. that thing. The predictions they have right now are apocalyptic. Unbelievable. For our lifetime. For our lifetime. There's a really old forest in Oregon. Trees eight feet around, 300 feet tall, that's a tall tree. And the timber industry has paid George Bush a cool million dollars to cut it down. We need your help to save it. 95% of the old growth forests have been cut and replanted. Wow. So there's only 5% of the old trees left? Yes. The law of the jungle is tooth and claw. At this moment, we are the winners of the evolutionary struggle. Nature has a way of fighting back. Right, we're here in Biloxi, Mississippi. We're at what we call the Spiller's House. The water and wind went completely through this building, went through the next building, broke out the glass through the church, hit the next building behind it. That's how... The water surged from that ocean over there? From the ocean, yes. I walked away from this uh, interview with the environmentalists realizing that I think they're going to lose. I think little by little we're going to lose the environment. You don't become the winner without fighting for your life, for all of your life. Species by species we had to... So there is, there is built into us an enormous amount of aggression. Speaking of Antichrist, you just met, you, met, you mentioned George Bush just a few minutes ago. Now you keep on using these terms. I'm just saying, why? Why? When you say, which is the Antichrist, and we got to get out of it. 
that's not going to impress me. Yeah. All that's going to do is bring back memories of the days when I came back from Vietnam. I mean, to you, what what's the big deal about same-sex marriage? It affects the entire culture, bottom up, top down. They want to hate gays. They want to hate gays now. It's easy to hate gays. They're more hateable today. It's not socially acceptable to hate people of color. It's no longer funny because this is something that the culture is being threatened with. Priesthood of the Western Catholic tradition was the biggest closet in which gay people hid through most of the ages of our world. What fundamentalism gives to people in the world today is a sense of security and certainty. That's why they get very angry when you ask questions. Now, a couple of months ago, I was in a big crowd of 100,000 people in the streets of New York protesting the Republican National Convention. Scum Just, of the scum of the earth. Okay. You scum. guys, you guys, scum of the earth. You guys okay. were the scum of the earth okay. that week. Let's just assume that we will win this revolution. Does it have to be violent? Does there have to be destruction of personal property involved? Can it really be through nonviolent direct action? And I'll tell you what I learned about social and political activism from interviewing these people. They work their asses off, okay? No sleep for days. They're sleeping on the floors of their offices. They're working 18 hour days. They make no money because they don't get paid for what they do because it's all voluntary, right? Because we, the American public for the most part, don't have enough sense to pay these people to defend our rights. So we wait until our rights are completely taken away from us. Then we stand around going, what happened? And look, it's not against you or me. That's just the way we are. We've always been that way, right? That's just the way we are. Little do we know that in these little pockets all over the country are these like little groups and offices of really concerned, aware, knowledgeable people who are totally already there fighting for us. It's about organizing, and organizing is sexy. The right of the people to peaceably assemble without the government saying we can't. What happened in Generation X? Where are they now? What are they up to? Are they happy? Are they disappointed? Are they disillusioned? What's going on? Remember the big promise of Generation X, like changing the world back in the 80s, and all of a sudden now, what are they doing? Something is happening. Go behind the scenes of a revolution. It's MTV meets PBS. Some totally crazy shit right happening here on Transcendent Television here. It's a little riot breaking out because everyone wants to express their opinion. Transcendent Television is a reality show. Let's go take, let's go take a tour around Ed's house. What do you say? Yeah. Yeah, one of his guitars, another guitar, another guitar, and there's Ed straight up. Because it's real. Yeah. No, but you have to you have to watch that though. See what you're filming my um okay. you're filming my crotch. You okay. See? Okay. Okay, no, but see it record? it's recording, yes. Uh-huh, no, uh -huh. So you're gonna film me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You so. look great. Oh well thank you very All much. Right. You look you look very good yourself. Well, it's just that your personality is too dynamic, you're too all over the place to be a cameraman. You know what I'm saying? Like what a, are you, look, yeah, cameramen again? are like this, dude. And Transcendent Television is about us. I, I think that people pay too much attention to things that um, aren't important. Yeah. The point of the whole reality TV thing, like the non-reality reality TV, is that you're in it, and pretty soon you're developing as a character. Just as I'm developing as a character right now. I don't right. know who I am, who am I? I don't know. <laughs> but pretty soon in front of the camera after a couple of shows, I become someone. I am becoming changed, and there is nobody more greedy, more capitalist, more materialistic than me. And I promise you that. I have 80 colognes. Do you understand? I have close to 40 bottles of scented soaps. So look, I know where you're at. We want to enjoy ourselves. That's why we're here. And I hear you on that. I feel you. But I think I'm being transformed. And I think the answer is starting to come around to me that the answer is, after all the searching that I've been doing, is to help to help other people because actually other people are us and we are other people. So I think the answer is not necessarily to keep thinking about ourselves, but to start thinking about helping other people. And I know that's scary because it scares me. But I think that's the answer and it's leading to more and more happiness. I'm telling you, I'm getting happier the more that I accept it. Transcendent Television, starring Ed Hale.
That's the love. <laughs> <laughs>